Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Toth. Today we are tasting wine. We have a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a 2015. It's by, is it Rabble? Rabble. Rabble. Um, it's a Paso Robos. Uh, and I bought it because of the label. Wait, so is the name Rabble or is the winery Rabble? I don't know. I'm guessing the winery is Rabble. There's not too much information on here based on the fact that it says rabblewine.com. Okay. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the winery. But I remember, I thought this was called like Mossfire or something like that. I don't oh, know. I think you're right. I think this is called that. The label is not. The label um, doesn't say much, but yeah. it does say. Something not else. like exactly informative. Yeah. Um, Which is fine. It's really cool. Because I bought it because of the label. Um, this is a Trader Joe's wine. And yeah, it's a volcano flowing through a castle, and the, I like the way it feels. Nice. It's got, it's like almost like Ooh, cloth. Ooh, yeah, it's like textured. You know, paper. How's so that? this goes to show you, you know, you got to take a little extra care to get people to buy your stuff. Yeah. You know. Marketing. A little bit of marketing doesn't help. No, it does help. <laughs> nah. Sure. Doesn't nah. help. Um, but yeah, Paso Robles. This is, uh, I mean, I love Paso Robles. Mm. I wonder how many wineries there are in Paso Robles. I don't know. Because I now, now I know Napa has like over 500. Napa has over 500? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, over 500 wines. And then in Sonoma, there's probably hundreds more. Well, yeah. well, Paso Robles is kind of like an up and coming Napa, right? Well, it's just like up and coming wine region. You know, I don't know if they're trying to be a Napa or if they're just trying to do their own thing. Sure. But, but yeah, it's definitely an up and coming area. Uh, it's a lot cheaper there. I love wine from Paso Robles. Yeah. It's so good. I think we kind of, we really enjoy wine. I don't know, it, a lot of the cabs from there, they're just so, they have a distinct, like, Paso Robles vibe. Right. This almost smells like apples, like nice red apples. Gala, the galas. Yeah, the gala apples. The gala apples. <laughs> the gala, gala apples. Yeah, that and like, uh, it's almost got like a mossiness to it, like a grass. Yeah, there's kind of a grass. Would you say like fresh cut grass or like wet grass? Mm, I was gonna go like not. <laughs> Dead grass. Dead grass. No, it, like our lawn. No, it's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, to like me, it's more like moss, like uh, not grass, like moss on a tree. Hmm. Like a little bit of that, like not wet earth, but just you know fresh moss. You know, maybe it's like that. You know, foresty type of. Hmm, I get How's a little wet earth. I think there's like, there's something wet hmm. in this. Moist, yep. maybe. <laughs> the word moist doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you? People. Yeah, you, well, I think it bothers a lot of people. No. Hmm. It's, it's pretty refreshing. It's like refreshing, crisp. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's so crisp. Crisp is a great word. Yeah. But it honestly, it kind of tastes like you're biting into like a crisp apple. Yeah. I'm just looking at this. There's a lot of sediment in here. Oh, can you see? I can see it on your glass, not my glass. I want to know what makes sediment. Like, what oh, makes the it. sediment in the wine? Because yeah. usually you see it in like older wines. Like, it'll just gather in the bottom, and that's what that's what the hole in the bottom is for. So it collects on the sides. That when you pour, it's supposed to stay down there. Mm, I learned that. I learned that. Yeah, but I don't know what what creates the uh, the sediment. Over time, just things break down, I guess, and then turn into clumps. It doesn't really make sense to me, but science. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's very fresh. It's crisp. I know. I think so. I like it at the temperature that it's, that it's served right now. Mm -hmm. But I think if it warmed up a little bit, it would have like brighter flavors. More characteristics. Yeah, I think oh. it's a little tight right now. It's a little yeah. acidic. Longer um, finish for sure. Right. Yeah. But it's still good. Like, yeah. This is like. I'm, yeah, Very I, pleasant. I don't think I decanted because I feel like after like two hours it might like start to like taper off and kind of fall flat. Mm, yeah. And I could kind of see that. Yeah, I would decant it, but I think just like having it warmed up a little bit. Having it warmed up and just, yeah, open, leave it up in the bottle. Yeah, like just, a little bit more room. Yeah, this is, the type of, this is the type of wine because you can tell when a wine, I think I'm getting better at telling when a wine could be needs to be decanted. Yeah. You know, but just enjoying it in the glass and just like having, you know, two, three glasses out of there and each one's kind of going to be a little bit different, mm -hmm. you know? I think that's the way to go about this wine. Yeah, the only flavors that I'm really getting right now, um, like I said, like that crisp kind of apple, um, a little bit of like rhubarb. God, I love rhubarb. Um, rhubarb is a good one. Yeah, a little rhubarb yeah. and then maybe a little like red cherry. Mm -hmm. um, like light 
light cherries, like underripe or like not really like watered down cherries. Yeah, that's the best way to eat fruit. No. Unripe. <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> so I remember this wine is called Force of Nature. Oh, Force of Nature. Force that's of what Nature. It is. It's from Moss Fire Ranch, which is the, like the what they call their wherever their winery is, but it's Rabble Wine Company. Uh, did you say we had a question? Oh, yeah. a question. A question. Uh, so this question comes to us from Georgia Howe. Uh, what is your favorite glassware to drink wine out of? I like I like these Bordeaux style glasses is what they're called. Yeah. Big, bulby uh, shaped. They make, um, I, pre I don't know who these are made by. I think these are made by D and V. I don't know what that is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, glassware, I like a nice thin yeah, you want it to be thin. I like I like thin on there. I like the bulby shape. They make uh, uh what's it called a burgundy glass. Yeah. Those are basically like the canters. It's like this if you squatted it down and this became like that much wider. Glassware does change the wine. You know, we've wanted to shell out on those uh, like Zoralto glasses. Zalto. Zalto. Oh, yeah. Zoralto. Zalto. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're amazing glasses, and I've only ever heard amazing things about them. Yeah, apparently they're like pretty pliable. Yeah. Um, which they're is good very, for you because you very break everything. Yeah. I break a lot of glasses. Yeah. This I watched this wine review uh, video. I'll put it down below, and they take the Zaltos, and you could like squeeze them. Like, yeah, like by half, half, half an inch, yeah. yeah. Which I definitely can't do with this. I've broken probably twelve of these in no way. Yeah. I just continue to break them. Um, I don't like stemless glasses. Yeah, unless like you're outside, maybe in a pool or something like that. But yeah, um, but I do like drinking uh, champagne out of those like really cool coupe coup. glasses, like the nineteen twenties sort of. Yeah. Blapper era. Yeah, but hey, if you don't believe us or like you just want to try, pour the same wine in a bunch of different glasses like you wouldn't want to drink this out of a beer glass like it, it honestly tastes disgusting whenever i see people <laughs> drinking red wine or a, yeah red wine out of red like solo cups i'm like oh it's so nasty it's so like, funny it's just it just doesn't taste the same i wow. actually really enjoy that i think yeah. that's funny <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever you like i don't know not for me but anyways thank you for joining us here at tasting wine get out there taste some wine let us know what you're drinking uh let us know your favorite glass if you have a favorite glass or some glasses maybe we should look out for uh, let us know what we should try next. Yeah, let us know what we should try next. That'd be great. We have gotten some recommendations. We're going to be getting to those videos. So stay tuned. Yep. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh my God. Hold on. Pause here. God. Nope. Hey, 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 hey. We don't need that on a show. Oh. We saw a cat. A cat? It was a cat. We appreciate everything that's going for us here. God.